Hey guys, it's Becky. I am back with another process video. Today I am going to be using the Simple Stories Bliss Collection for this layout. I had totally forgot that I purchased this layout. And you know how I keep my rolling cart. It has 10 drawers that are, I think they're like 13 by 13, 14 by 14, something like that. This was in the bottom drawer of it. And I was so happy that I have found it in there. I finally got to that drawer because this is a fabulous collection. This right here is one of my favorite pages. I am going to get the center of it because it is so pretty. This one right here, I did not really want the floral bits on it. So I am going to trim it down just so that I get the wood grain portion of it. Now you can see up in the top right hand corner, I am using a sketch on this one. It is a Stuck Sketches sketch by Laura Whitaker. I am still working my way through hers as well as the creative scrapper sketches, but I've been really drawn to her sketches lately for whatever reason. Right there I was showing you I was going to fussy cut out some of those flowers. I don't even know if I use any of those. This photo or this paper right here I was going to go ahead and use to map my photo with. I am going to not go with that. I'm going to use the paper but not to map my photo. I will map my photo on just black cardstock. As you can see in the sketch, there are several papers in a vertical line. So that's what I'm doing right here. A lot of them do have rounded corners. I'm rounding the corner of the black cardstock I'm going to map my photo in. I am rounding the corner of this wood grain paper, which is just gorgeous. And I am also going to round the corners of the photos. Right here, just measuring out where that wood grain was going to sit so I can save some of this paper right here because it is my favorite paper of this collection. Today, when I am recording this voiceover, it is actually Father's Day. So, happy Father's Day to everybody. It will be belated, of course, because... It's not going to go up till June 23rd, which June 23rd is the day BJ and Marissa are having their baby shower. They do things differently nowadays in that they have joint baby showers. It's not just for the ladies, it's for the guys as well. So I've been spending my day wrapping gifts. I did ink the edges of everything with that archival ink and watering can. Right there I was using some double sided tape from that I picked up at Tuesday morning it ran out. So I went to my score tape or the Suk Wang tape, whichever it is called. When you Google it on Amazon, it comes up saying score tape. When you get it in the box, it says Suk Wang. I don't know. So this right here is going to be the base of my layout. Okay, so I did want to mention something in this video, now that you see my base. Um, you know I'm a girl's girl, right? I like to sing the praises of the people I love, the ladies I love, right? Well, one of our other YouTube consumers, YouTube watchers, she watches my channel, Pat Armstrong. Hey, Pat. She um, recommended that I go and watch RTS Scrapbooking. Guys seriously i think that she created her channel like a month ago i'm not exactly sure because i'm like nine videos in now she has so much information and is so fantastic this is the best tip i have ever gotten from anybody you know i always ask who are you watching now well pat oh my gosh janet at rts scrapbooking is fabulous you have got to go over and check her out. I've been binge watching her all day today. I've learned so much because I create scrapbook videos, yes, but also I am a consumer. More often I consume than I create, right? I only do like two or three videos a week and the rest of the time I am watching. Every day I am watching YouTube videos. Love them. But this lady that Janet had or not Janet Pat had turned me on to oh my gosh she is so fabulous Janet thank you so much for that um recommendation and I agree she is she is really great and I'm with you with I am binge watching right now at this point I'm gonna link her down below because she has blown me away 
she's really good at verbal communication. Like when you watch my videos, I know they're not fabulous. I'm not the best at the verbal communication and, you know, teaching you the things and saying it in a way that you can absorb it. I'm more of a written communication person. Um, RTS scrapbooking, Janet over there, great at verbal communication. Fantastic. I'm going to link her so you can um, see what she's up to and give her a shot. She's fabulous. Love her. All right, so when I originally cut my strips down for my photo mat, I did them a little wider than I would have liked. As you can see, I stick really closely to this sketch. I even pull out my um, Fisker's notebook punch to get the same um, effect that is on that sketch. I've been sticking really closely to sketches lately, and I think it's more that I'm choosing to spend my time in other ways not just making scrapbook pages so I'm spent I'm choosing to spend my time in other ways so I am just taking a sketch and I am running with it and getting it done flat out quickly so right here I do have to make the other strips I cut out be the same size as the one I trimmed down this one right here it is a chevron pattern so I wanted that point to be center ish I did not measure it out completely I just kind of eyeballed the center of it and marked it and then trimmed it up right like that this one right here is a duplicate of the one that's at the top it is that black floral paper that I originally had cut out to do is the mat of my photo but then later changed my mind I did trim off a word strip. It says, share your beauty with the world. That was on a four by six card and I just kind of trimmed it out of it. I am inking all of these pieces with that watering can ink. Just to kind of tie everything in together. Now in this video, you may have seen my camera do a little shaking and I was trying a different setup. I liked it in that it gave me a bigger area, but the way it was set up was kind of mounted to my desk. So when I moved my desk, the camera would shake. So I did not like that too much. I'm still working on a different setup if I can get one that's up higher where I can get more, you know, more of a picture of what's on my desk, I guess. But in this one, I think I might have one more after it that the camera does shake a little bit. So sorry about that. It's a, it's a learning curve when you're trying to set things up differently. You have some fails, right? So on this one, I am still using that double-sided tape because I purchased it and I love it. Right there, you can see at the bottom of that photo, I did use one of the strips that were on this sticker page. Only a little bit shows in the end, but it's really cute. I'm really glad I added that in there. Still going with that watering can ink. Every time I decide to change the size and kind of make it a little smaller, I have to ink again, right? You can see on the back of this, this piece right here I did use washi tape to hold together those pieces I wanted them together but not overlapping so I used the washi tape just to kind of hold them together and then I just used my ATG gun to stick them down to the page I did try to get it straight ish which for me is probably a little bit crooked but that's okay I don't care that piece right there is a the piece I trimmed off that 4x6 card. It says, Share Your Beauty with the World. This is a photo of my sister Barbie and her daughter Tiffany, her oldest daughter Tiffany. And um, I'm thinking this was taken in October at my mom's birthday party. Not 100% sure. I do need to go back and look at the date and stamp the date on there. I do not stamp the date on there while I'm doing this uh, voiceover. I did go to, through the chipboard stickers. I pulled out a flower and I also pulled out that bird. The bird probably doesn't have much to do with it and I'm okay with that. Barbie loves birds and so do I. So <laughs> it's going on the page. Right here I'm going through the die cut selection and I did pick out a couple little pieces. One of the flower pieces I picked out was way too big but I think I do cut it in half and put it up at the top. 
that piece you saw me right with right there, it was a mason jar and it had flowers coming out of it. I snipped the flowers off because I didn't want to use the jar portion. So I'm going to use the flower portion right there up at the top right. I also pulled out a circular flower portion. It's like a flower wreath and that's going to sit under the bird. It is right there right now under the bird. I pulled out a bike. Didn't think it'd work, but I tried it anyways. And it, it, it doesn't work. I do end up pulling out this piece right here. This is a sticker and it says Hello Sunshine on it. There are some florals over on the right hand side of the, the words, but I am going to put this um, die cut piece over where the flowers are on that Hello Sunshine. Actually, I think that's a chipboard piece and I pulled off a couple layers so it's a little bit thinner. This video is a wee bit longer than most of my videos are. I cut down what I thought I could and just left the rest in. I thought that maybe in the past I'm being a little too cutting out. My cutting out hand is a little too heavy. So I went ahead and kept a lot more in on this one. I don't know if that was a good idea or not because I don't really have a lot of words, right? Right here, I am going to go ahead and put this chipboard piece down. And because it's on a layer of the photograph and that black cardstock, I am going to pop it up with a little foam tape on the left hand side of it. I would rather it stick up and then go down rather than be up on the photo and then go down to the left. I don't know why. It's just this, it's a visual thing to me. I did not care for that. Right here I'm using some double sided tape and I'm going to go ahead and stick that phrase down. It says share your beauty with the world. It's not quite as long as the papers. I'm okay with that. There's a little bit of black showing on either side of that phrase. Moving up to the top for that cluster and I am going to use a piece of that die cut and also a chipboard sticker up there. It's very similar to the sketch. She had a flower or a embellishment cluster up at the top right and one at the bottom right or one at the bottom left which I totally went with and then the same thing with that little bird over to the side. Right there it showed you some Felicity Jane alphas and that's what I'm going to use for my title. It says beauties. I will put that down here in a minute. I'm going to use this black paper right here. I'm using a um, Martha Stewart, it's kind of a palm frond punch. And I'm just going to kind of tuck a couple of those in, or not a couple really, one in in each of my embellishment clusters. The one with the bird was the hardest one to tuck in because I didn't want it to look like it was coming out of his rear end. So I ended up putting it up onto his back's his back. I think it looks okay. It looks okay. It's cute. I did make that embellishment cluster hang over the wood grain portion. Right here is where I'm putting down those alphas. I like the uh, Felicity Jane alphas because you don't have to add extra adhesive. To my knowledge. I guess I should say to my knowledge. Check back with me next year and I'll look back in the in the in the album and see if they have fallen off. I'm also going to pull out some Felicity Jane little black hearts and I'm going to scatter those around the page as well. It takes me a minute to get this little circular flower wreath with the bird on top and the frond layered up just the way I wanted it to go. So guys, tell me how your summer is going. When I record this, it is on June 17th. I did my pre-op Friday, so that was the 15th. I did my pre-op, so I'm good to go for my surgery in two weeks. Let me know how your summer is going. I hope it's great. Right here I'm shooting in the Heidi Swap Color Shine in Seafoam. It adds a little bit. I really like the way the color matches the Seafoam colored, mint colored 
green dots on that background paper. I love that background paper. I know I already said it before, but I'm saying it again. Love it. The sea foam matches it so good. Looks fabulous. And I have that whole panel right there on the right to put some journaling in, which I have not done yet, but I will eventually. All right, guys, don't forget to check out RTS Scrapbooking. I'll link her down below. Like I said, I haven't been this excited about a YouTube channel in quite some time. So go check her out. She is fantastic. All right, guys, that's all I do to lay out. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.